So now that you know how to do these transformations, how do you find the equation if you're given the graph? Now, the only way we can find the equation is if it's in vertex form. And if you remember that in vertex form, that gives you the vertex, the h and the k, the a gives you the shape, and the x and the y would just be every point along that parabola. So what you need is, well, first is you need the equation with all the variables, and then you need the vertex, so you can get the h and the k, and a point, so you can get the x and the y for just one point, and having everything except for the a, that's what you can find out. Once you find out the a, you put it back together with just the h and the k and the a, leave the y and the x as they are, because that's going to represent all the points along the parabola, and you're set. So, let's see, let's look at an example. They could give you the information just saying here's the vertex and here's the point, or they can give you a graph and you just pick which point you want to get. So let's say that here we can tell that the vertex is 2 and 8. So that means that this is the h and that's the k. If that's the h and that's the k, then I can go to y equals a bracket x minus h plus k, and then 2 was the h, so that goes here. If it was minus 2, this would become minus, minus 2, which ended up being plus 2, right? And the k was 8, so it's plus 8. And we are stuck there. So now let's look at another point. So we'll find a point. Maybe you can find this point, or that point, or that point, or another point. All of them will actually work out just fine. But let's say we got this 4, 2. So 4, 2 means that this is my x, and that's my y. So my x is 4. It goes right there. And my y is 2. So that's the goo for over here. And all we've got left is to figure out our a. And that's what we were doing. So I'm going to do everything uh, just one color. And I'm going to say, OK, that is equal to 2. So equal to 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 squared plus 8. Now you're going to be tempted to put these two guys together. Don't, because as you remember, this is one term, and that's another term. We can't combine them until it's all done. And since there's an a in here, we can't combine them at all. So that 8 has to go to the other side first and foremost. 2 minus 8 is equal. Now I'm going to 2 squared is 4, so I'm just going to put the 4 in, in the front. It's 4 a. 2 minus 8 is equal to minus 6. To get rid of that 4, because of the a, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. And I get that a is equal to, well, minus 6 over 4 can be simplified if I divide both them top and bottom by a 2. So it's minus 3 over 2. That's a 2. So does it make sense that this is a negative a value? Well, it opened down, so yes, that makes sense. And I found the a, but I need to give my last step, which is rewriting the equation. So don't have a lot of room, but then my equation final would be y is equal to my a, which is this, which is found out, minus 3 over 2. And then x. And notice that I did write y and x. I'm not going to put 4 and 2 anymore, because now I wanted the general form for all the points. That was just one point. And minus 2 and plus 8. And that is our equation for the problem that they gave us.